PCB Ways, one of the leading PCB manufacturers out there, and it is the manufacturer I use for my products. Now, if you're either a hobbyist and or looking to create a final product, PCB Way is going to be a really great choice with their 24 hour and also assembly services. So go ahead and check the links down below. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an all new brushless swoop from Eashin, and it's called the AE65 7th Anniversary Limited Edition one. So it is a 1S brushless swoop, and I'm not really a big fan of whoops, but we're going to go ahead and continue along with this review, and I'll give you my feedback on this. So first of all, let's start with the accessories. Now, I think the price with the amount of things they give you is insane. So you get this whole thing for 100 bucks. You get the quadcopter. You also get the charger, you get four batteries, you get a power brick, and you get a case to carry everything. And I think that is absolutely insane. That is an absolute steal, especially when you're on the go and, you know, you go from hotel to hotel. You can just go ahead and uh, take this with you and fly it wherever you want. So that's something really nice. It is pretty quiet as well. And that's something I also like because that means you could kind of fly in the backyard without really annoying any of your neighbors. And, and it really comes down to your situation where you fly and how you fly. And this would be a very acceptable park flyer, I would say, even though outdoors slight wind will be pushing this around like any other tiny whoop. So the wind resistance on this isn't the greatest. And that is obviously to be expected because these are basically indoor whoops here. Now, for batteries, they give you four batteries, actually. They give you a 250 milliamp HV batteries with the new type of connector. Now, we're going to be seeing this connector quite a lot, uh, especially with Emacs's new products. They're starting to give batteries uh, with this connector right here, which is really nice to see. The charger takes both type of connectors. So you have your new one here and you also have your older one. And it charges normal LiPos as well as HVs. And you could select between 200 milliamps to half an amp so i always have them on half an amp so it just charges much much quicker here and again they provide the power brick which is just absolutely beautiful now for flight time i'll have that somewhere here i kind of forgot i'll have to go through the footage here and now let's let's talk about my experience usually i don't fly much indoors um just i just don't but i would really want to but i always forget that i can and usually i don't like taking a lot of things with me everywhere uh nowadays and uh, this one in my opinion, I'd actually, for, for what it is, a 22 gram 1S swoop, I would honestly give it an 8 out of 10. I mean, I, I noticed nothing wrong with it. The tune was great. There was no vibrations, no oscillations. It was really quick. Camera quality is decent. And overall, I really did enjoy flying it. But, you know, again, I'm not a really big fan of them, but what I can also tell you is about the video transmitter. Now, the video transmitter is also built into the flight controller here. And the overall reception was quite good, I would say. Not the best, obviously, but for what it is, it's it's actually really insane. Now, where's the antenna? There it is. And you can see that little copper thing that's sticking out. That's the antenna right there. So you really don't have to worry about chopping this off anytime soon. And it comes with many different receiver types. For example, here I got the RX-SR. And the antenna placement is absolutely crap, as you can tell. And what I would really do is I'd bring them through this hole right there. And I'd put zip ties to hold them like that and then heat shrink them and you'll be good to go uh, without really worrying about these antennas going anywhere. But that will kind of limit the places you can go and fly in because then the uh, zip ties would hit and your quadcopter would kind of get disoriented. Um, now, you do have slight yaw washout on like most of these sometimes, like especially when you're going through a corridor. There's a lot of wind, a lot of turbulence. You'll see it kind of just do that. But another nice thing is I didn't have to fight it to keep it in the air. And that's something you always want. And that's something that's a very important thing with these. So I didn't have that. And for motors are using their newer motors here. These are the uh, 0802 2200 KV. And um, they flew really great. And these propellers here, I don't know what they are. Uh, there's 12. So they're 1.2 inch and they're 19 pitch here. And they do give you an extra set in the packaging, which is really nice. I haven't had to replace the propellers here and um, I just really enjoyed it. Now, overall durability and longevity, I can't answer that for you. I've only put roughly 22 to 27 packs in this thing and um, it's just been flying really great. I've crashed 10 plenty of times, at least twice per battery, like really hard crashes just to see the speed. And I had no issues with braking and no issues with the propellers hitting the guards so overall in my opinion this seems like a great deal so far and um i'll give it an 8 out of 10 for what it is and uh, 
Yeah, so if you were looking into it, you I don't think you'll regret it, honestly, uh, especially with the amount of things they also provide you in the packaging. Um, and, well, that's really it. I really can't say anything else about it other than it flew really nice, and um, I give it 8 out of 10 for what it is. And that's about it. I'll have everything linked down below. Also, come join my Patreon. I do a ton of premium giveaways per month. And also check the links down below. There's so many things for you to benefit from. If you need advice from uh, anything FPV related, I have an iOS and Android application for the community where they can get immediate answers for whatever they have. And also my FPV social media network, which you can go there, grow your following, sell your services, buy somebody's services. It's just a dedicated place for FPV pilots. And you can always message me anytime there. And well, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.